Ayaka Sato was born in Kobe, then moved to Matsuyama. She's a graduate of Waseda University in Tokyo. In 2006, she received encouragement award from Yasuko Tsushima, one of the judges at the second Fukio Shiba haiku contest. Instead of joining a traditional Kesha haiku group, she started a haiku unit called Haiku Machine, which was dissolved in 2012. From 2010 to 2012, she was involved in another unit called Time Limited Short Poetry Girls Unit, GUKA, G-U-C-A. I think pronunciation is right. She joined Kagami Mirror in 2012 and Kuplas in 2014. Both are magazines by a group of poets with equal standing. It's, you know, it's no, no teacher-student kind of relationship. It's more horizontal equal uh, positions. And Ayaka published three haiku collections, Kaiso Hyohon, Seaweed Specimen in 2008, which received the 2009 Sakon Ko Haiku Award. Kimi ni me ga ari, mi hirakare. You, having eyes and opening them wide in 2014. Kiku wa yuki, chrysanthemums like snow in 2021. In 2016, she wrote a haiku introduction book titled Haiku o Asobe, Play Haiku. In 2017, she edited an anthology featuring the poets who were born after 1968. It is titled Amanogawa Ginga The Milky Way Galaxy Power Plant. She's one of the star poets of her generation. Um, and it is really our honor to have Ayaka with us today. And she will share her thoughts on haiku and read her own haiku in Japanese and English. Here she goes. Okay, <laughs> thank you for the introduction. And I'll share the PowerPoint is okay. Um, wait a minute. Okay. Good afternoon. My name is Ayaka Sato. Uh, this presentation is sort of a long introduction of myself. I hope it will serve as an example of a living Japanese haiku poet. I am a haiku poet currently living in Berkeley because of my husband's work assignment in the United States. I love Japanese language. That is why I have been writing haiku. I never imagined one day I would be talking about haiku in English, but I do appreciate this great opportunity. I grew up in a suburb of Kobe until the age of 11, then moved to Matsuyama in Ehime Prefecture. I composed my first, first haiku there as my summer homework. As you know, Matsuyama is the birthplace of Shiki Masaoka and haiku is very popular there. When I was in junior high school, the haiku poet Itsuki Natsui happened to be my Japanese teacher. I was not a kid who read novels or wrote poetry, and yet somehow I found haiku interesting and started writing. Itsuki Natsui is currently very popular on the primetime haiku program on TV, like this. She edits participants' haiku on the spot. She has contributed to an increased interest in haiku among Japanese as a witty, 
sometimes sharp-tongued teacher on the show. When I was in high school, I participated in and won a competition called Haiku Koshin. It is a kind of combination of haiku slam and debate among high school students. The event is sponsored by the city of Matsuyama and is held every August. This year marked its 25th anniversary and it is held just yesterday. If you are interested, please search for it in, on YouTube and please come to Matsuyama. When I was at Waseda University, I did nothing but attend haiku gathering, kukai. With friends, I met at Haiku Koshien. Upon graduation, I failed to find a job, but I published my first collection of haiku, seaweed specimens, Kaiso Hyo. Since then, I have been teaching haiku to high school students around the, around the country and have edited introductory books, etc. The third book of haiku I published last year is titled Chrysanthemums Like Snow. Haiku Koshien has had a significant impact on the contemporary Japanese haiku scene. Of course, we respect all masters like Basho and Shiki, as well as the older haiku poets of today, and learned a lot from them. At the same time, our generation tends to have kukai on our own. We study and discuss haiku among ourselves without having a teacher-like figure. This is our kukai. Here, uh, I would like to introduce a haiku by Wakayuki Fukuda. He is a little younger than me and a graduate of haiku koshien like myself. Tezawari ga ajisai wo barabara ni shiru. Fukuda Wakayuki. Touch of your hand, learning hydrangea, peace by peace. Wakayuki Fukuda. We know a hydrangea is in bloom when we see it, but Fukuda's haiku makes us consider it is a flower that we may understand only by touching. A hydrangea is a collection of flowers. By touching each flower with our palm, one by one. We understand it as a whole. A Japanese word, barabarani, contains an onomatopoeia. The word suggests each part has something, some existence of its own. This haiku has a new and refresh approach, refreshing approach. Many haiku poets before him wrote about the beauty of hydrangea, focusing on its color. Fukuda's point of view, or the angle he chose, is interesting. Actually, this type of unexpected, almost strange way to describe things is one of the characteristics of the new generation of haiku poets in Japan. Fukuda and his friends started a group called Orugan. Unlike a traditional haiku group that has master apprentice lineage, 
the four members of Oregon have equal positions. No one is a teacher or master. Everyone challenges each other to compose haiku with fresh eyes and approaches and tries to develop himself or herself through friendly competition. So I am currently a member of two groups. Neither of them has a leader called Shusai. However, I do have a po haiku poet I adore. Her name is Sumiko Ikeda. She learned haiku from a Shinko New Wave haiku poet named Toshio Mitsuhashi. The Shinko haiku is a literary movement that started questioning the traditional approaches called kacho fue and shasei. Kacho means flowers and birds. Shasei, as you may know, means sketch. Both approaches focus most, almost on nature. Shinko haiku poets try to break from these traditional approaches. During World War II, Shinko haiku poets composed war front haiku without actually fighting in the war themselves. They thought something like war could be major literary theme. It is a huge challenge Unfortunately, the government cracked down on the movement as non-patriotic. But fortunately, Mitsuhashi was too young to be imprisoned by police. After the war, he continued to seek a new way to compose haiku. It was Mitsuhashi who discovered and recruited Sumiko Ikeda. じゃんけんで負けてホタルに生まれたの。池田澄子。Rock, paper, scissors. By losing, I was born a firefly. 澄子池田。This haiku is one of Ikeda's signature haiku. She uses a colloquial style everyone can understand. In this haiku, the poet is a firefly. This makes us think about the origin of a firefly. If the poet won the rock, paper, scissors game, what would she become? A great haiku is completed with the reader's imagination. By the way, you can find this haiku in the textbook for middle school students. Now, let's talk a little about season words or kigo in Japanese. How do you treat kigo when you compose haiku in English? Seasons, nature, cultures are different from place to place. I believe it is fine to have many, many approaches toward kigo. Today, I would like to share my opinion about kigo in haiku in Japan as a contemporary Japanese poet. As you may know, the kigo in this haiku is firefly, hotaru in Japanese. For Japanese haiku poets, kigo is like a hashtag or word with many links. When you open the link, you see a lot of images about fireflies. 
you will see many haiku using Firefly Akigo. Japanese poets treasure Firefly as a word symbolizing momentary, momentary life and fragile love. Ikeda uses this kigo with a simple expression and a game everyone knows. Yet she makes a reader think about human's fate. It is very refreshing. Recently, I became interested in Jack Kerouac's haiku and read his book of haikus edited by Regina Weinrich. I like the way he translated Kigo as seasonal reference in this book. To me, Kigo are not just beautiful words, but a special entity that allows us to connect with the past and future. Without this reference characteristic, a short Japanese haiku would not be established as a popular literature form. Today, there is a wide variety of Japanese haiku poets. Some are traditional, some are avant gold. I edited an anthology titled The Milky Way Galaxy Power Plant, which contains works by young Japanese poets. For English readers like you, I recommend Well Versed Exploring Modern Japanese Haiku. edited by Minoru Ozawa and translated by Janine Beichmann. In this book, you can read haiku by modern and contemporary haiku poets, including Shiki Masaoka, Kyoshi Takahama, and even me. We are contemporary haiku poets. We have inherited Kigo, as well as fixed form and kireji, which are trademarks of haiku. We can increase the value of these elements by incorporating them and deviating from or even breaking them. As a successor to Mitsuhashi and Ikeda, I would like to question traditional elements like kigo and update them. I'm sure that in a community with writers like Fukuda, who belong to the same generation, we can recognize a new way to express ourselves. If we write haiku with a fresh approach, we can add more links or references for future haiku poets. I believe if I continue, I can make haiku and the Japanese language I love rich and growing. Until recently, I have only read Japanese poetry. Living in Berkeley, I started reading contemporary American poetry. I plan to return to Japan next month but I would like to make the most of my experience in the US. It broadened my horizons. I would like to know more about short poems from around the world. Please teach me haiku, tanka, and haibun form poems in English. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. Next up is haiku reading. Just a moment, please. Ayako-san, gamin kiechatte yo? Are? Kamen. Ah, 
、私が消えてますか、うんうん、あ、戻った。戻りました。はい。えー、っと、ちょっと待ってください。はい、これで見えてますでしょうか。はい。OK。Thirty Haiku by Ayaka Sato。August 31st。2022。Uh, translated into English by Fei Aoyagi with Patricia McMiller, Sue and Lynn, and Philip Kennedy. Thank you, everyone. 少女みな、紺の水着を絞り蹴り。All the girls wring water out from dark blue school swimsuit. バンカのキネマ。使命をありったけ流し。Late summer, movie theater, flowing names, as many as possible. まつりまでかけて、まつりをかけぬけて。Running to the summer festival, a run through A summer festival. Ah, Natsu no yo na hikoki, Mizu Smeri. Ah, the aircraft like summer, the clear water. Kaki kameba. 窓なき部屋のごときかな。Munching an oyster. It is like a room with no windows. 手紙即愛の時代のツバメかな。From the time of letters. From the time of love. A swallow. また美術館行こう。また、蝶と蝶。Let's go to the museum again. Again, a butterfly, a butterfly. 紫陽花は額で、それらは言葉なり。Hydrangea. Are made of calyxes and also of words. Yotto yori, ide yuku mizu o yoru to yu. What an exciting ayat. I call it night. よう水のように君とは遊ぶ中。Night is like water.I am your playmate. 月を指す胃腸から月までの距離。I stab the moon, the distance from a ginkgo to the moon. 冬晴れて君宛ての手紙はすべて君に。Clear winter's day, all the letters addressed to you are all for you. 
知らない町の吹雪の中は知っている。Unknown city, but I know the inside of a blizzard. There is a star. What I saw is something else altogether. Ye meku, kimi no magao ya, ware o daki. Your serious face. Like a funeral portrait holding me. Aruk Tori, Sekai Nia, Yorokobi Garu. A bird that walks, there is pleasure in the world. アジもらいに立つカワウソの毛の流れ。An otter stands for muckles, the patterns of its fur. 蛾の仲間、天に仕草を見せ合えり。A group of moths, each gesture to the sky. 降水瓶の聞くは接待、聞くのころ。A chrysanthemum by Settai, chrysanthemum season. Yume ni yume, kasane uchi keshi, kiku wa yuki. Placing a dream on a dream and deleting them like snow chrysanthemums. Mizumi no kōru subete ga sono karada. The lake is frozen. Everything is its own body. Gandiki de tsukuru seiza ya kaki furai. Creating a constellation By the power of my eyes, fried oysters. Mizu a hao, machi to omoi nu, raku yoki. Wala thinks thief is a city, a season of fallen leaves. December, the sea comes to create waves. Kassoro, Umi ni togirete, Umi no kime. A runway is broken by the sea. The sea's texture. Marseille Butter Sand, Jolukju no Hayashi. Butter Biscuits by Lokkate Marseille, Evergreen Grove. k 
川下りせり、崩し地の涼しさで。Flowing down a river with the coolness of cursive letters. ほうやくかなし、月の不変を飽きもせで。Sad Japanese translation, we never tired of the moon's ubiquity. まゆずみに、午後のくぐもり、しもくれん。Penciled eyebrow, muddled as my mother tongue. Magnolia blossoms. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> should, should, should you take so a question? So, how do you think? Sure, we could take a few questions. And also, thank you so much for your beautiful reading. Thank you.、Uh, Very good. So, Ayako said she may not be very comfortable answering in, in English, but we're going to try. <laughs> And if she can't, if she can't, I would I would try to translate into in English. So, please, simple and slow English, please. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like fun. Go ahead, Michael. Slow yeah, English. For... Slow yes. English. Yes, thank you for your presentation and reading.、Uh, beautiful to see a variety of material shared. My question is what do you think you've learned about haiku in English during your stay here?、Ah. やっぱり日本語でいきますが、うん、こっちに来てから場所とあと禅の話をされる機会がとても多くて、えー、私はそのあたりに詳しくないので勉強しなければと思うことが多いです。<笑>はい So, before, I mean, after I came here to the States,、um, I heard a lot about Basho and Zen. And unfortunately, I'm not a very,、uh, I'm not knowledge, I, I don't have much knowledge about Basho and Zen. So, I felt、um, I should study more about Basho and Zen after I come back to Japan. Paul Watsky? Slow. <laughs> oh, mute. I'm, I'm mute, so I'm mute, Paul. I'm mute. You still can't hear you, Paul. Yeah, I was having trouble finding a little microphone. Okay, I've unmuted myself now. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, this may be a question、uh, for both of you,、uh, Ayaka san and、uh, Sei san. Uh, in two of the poems,、uh, the one about the oyster, the first poem about the oyster, and、uh, then the one that starts your serious face,、uh, there are similes.、Uh, the poems are built around similes, which I had originally thought were inappropriate for haiku, that figure of speech.、Uh, does this suggest a change in that attitude, or do I just simply have it wrong? The oyster one is Ayaka, right? Yes, both of these are Ayaka. Most of the Ayakas.、Oh, yes, but, but they're both similes. Okay, but why you, you thought oyster ones is inappropriate? I, I know the,、uh, uh, the, the this 
portrait ones, your questions, but. Well, they both use the word like, you know, your face is like this and something else is like that, which is a particular, uh, Oh, like, folk. I see, I see, yes. ah, I see. Uh -huh. I, know. I, I thought Gandhi that was kind of forbidden in haiku. So. Oh, okay. So, Gandiki de Tsukuru, Kaki Furai, to Ie no Gotoki, no Tokini, Gotoki, or Dasiga Laiku, to Yakushita say that to Mondekado, Daiku to Kawa, Skatche, Kina, and Janaka, to you, Yoku, you are data, Deskedomo, so you go to Arimas and Kat, to you, you know, so this name. Ah, so he you this, you know, Choku, you, so Choku, you, you know, ah, no, we. Mm, when we use uh, like gotoki, um, very careful. Uh, we should be careful because um, it is very easy to make poetic mood or or very. Um, あんまり面白くないかどっちかすごく詩的になるか面白くないかどっちかだから気をつけないといけないあ、はい。うん。そうだ、そうだ。私はそれを、あ、ビューティフリー、イツビカムアベリーポエティック、オブビーベリーポエ
education you had when you are learning about haiku from a saijuki or somewhere about how to use chrysanthemum? Uh, okay. わかります。わかります。はい。えっと、これは私の本意とは外れるんですが、やっぱり日本のその国を表す御門、菊の御門みたいなイメージもあって、日本人にはあとまあ仏家、仏様に捧げる花としてもあるので、日本人にはすごく馴染み深い花だと思います。ただ
their intention is not just to omit season word, but intentionally, more to, with a strong will, uh, they try not to use Kigo. So mm -hmm. that's the other uh, approach they're trying. Um, and uh, in English word, uh, I think it is very difficult for telling which one is a uh, no season haiku or which one is a haiku with a season word because for me who can check words in Japanese saijiki sometimes uh, English language poet here using the word not uh, recognizing it is a kigo so is that the uh, seasonless haiku or season haiku that's the very difficult question so i think you know um in english haiku season word it's not as an important i, I should not say important but not as um you know the must have things not the must have things uh here because it is very difficult without uh which one is a kigo which one is not a kigo without having saijiki you know like a bible like Japanese have. It's my opinion, but that. Ah, でも記号について考え方があのアメリカに来て少しあの変わった変わったというか面白いと思ったのはその今 I live in Berkeley now and here I think not spring, summer, autumn and winter, but um, spring, spring, summer, spring, uh, uh, over, <laughs> what <is> autumn, we, <laughs> like this, so not like Japanese so for a season, uh, but the, uh, many, many flowers uh, bloom, uh, spring, summer, and autumn. So, uh, I confused, very really confused. <laughs> uh, I, I like flowers and I use as a kigo. Uh, I use flowers as kigo, but um, I think I sh shouldn't be careful to use Kigo or not Kigo. Kigo de Aroga, Nakaroga, Kono Hanaga, Yomitai, Tomoeva, Hano, Haikuni, Steinja Naika, to Oemas. Yeah, because you know that the last thing she said is because here、uh, it's not, you know, or, or in California or at least in the Berkeley or Bay Area, they don't have a very clear four seasons. So,、uh, so she became, she began to think about、uh, not using flower as a kigo, but using a flower as a flower she wants to read about. So the the attitude is a little、uh, getting a little different. Any questions or comments? Let me check second page. But okay, I think that's it from the audience, I guess. Thank you, Ayaka san. Thank you. Thank you, Sue. Thank, Thank you, Gary. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sue. Thank you, Thank you everyone. That was wonderful. Very wonderful. <laughs>